Hey everyone, today we have Vanitas 4E in the lab on a Bradford Guardian 4. A very, pretty, a very cool um, sort of personal carry fixed blade. A little bit on the larger side though, so you know, maybe more of a camp knife. Who knows? In the eye of the beholder, I guess. Uh, Vanitas 4 Extra is a modified version of Vanitas 4, which in itself is a almost analogous steel to 4V, just made by Bowler Udenholm, whereas 4V is crucible steel. Um, Vanitas 4 Extra is not too dissimilar recipe-wise, with one exception from S30V, from a steel like that. It just has, doesn't have as much chromium in it, so it's not a stainless steel. In terms of its carbon and vanadium com content, very similar to S30V. It has molybdenum in it, um, and it's got, uh, you know, just the, the way it's laid out is that it can be geared more towards toughness, but it can also achieve a very high rock or hardness and go up to 66, 67. This one here is in 62 to 63. That's how Bradford runs it. Right now I've put an 18 degree uh, well, near mirror. I've used my CBN emulsions on some um, kangaroo leather strops and it's got to um, you know, a pretty decent cloudy mirror polish. Very nice. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to edge test this one first and then I've gone and put an 18 degree mirror. So I've put the same edge on this 4V knife and we're going to see what the difference is. It's if any, from um, just standard 4V versus Vanitas 4 Extra. Uh, you might remember this still from earlier in my channel when I had a zero tolerance 0200 or 0300 fixed blade from, um, it's a, it was a Hindra design and that was in Vanitas 4 Extra. That was a thicker working knife. I think the Rockwell on that one was 60 and it cut very well uh, once I got the angle right for it. So I'm expecting pretty good things. Um, this way this test goes, if this is your first one, I'm going to be cutting uh, twisted sisal rope and periodically I'll stop and check if the knife still bites in and slices a held sheet of paper. Once the knife no longer does that, uh, I'll assign the number to of how many cuts it did before it stopped doing that and that will be the knife, the blade or the steel's score. So we'll do that and we'll see which gets a higher score, this or 4V with the same edge. Um, the only thing I can't comment on is the rock or hardness of Spydeco's. I can't find a completely reliable uh, of it just yet. So if you know, and you can link it to me, more importantly, please put it in the comments. I do try and keep things as much backed up by science as I can. I'll also put a couple of graphs on the screen showing Vanitas 4E next to some other steels, um, just so you can get a bit of an idea of how it is and, and what it's like. So this isn't a crazy spec beast or anything like um, Rex 121 or, uh, you know, it doesn't have a hugely complex makeup to it. It's just a good mix of ingredients to make a good steel that could be quite versatile, I would say. So let's get into it. Let's see how much it cuts. Uh, 675, 18 degrees, mirror-ish polished uh, per side on the Bradford Guardian V4E at 62 to 63 watt pro. That's an excellent result. Um, that's swinging with, say, Rex 45, steels like that. Just really good um, upper level of edge retention, really. So, cool, cool. Let's test the next uh, Spyderco 4V.
Alrighty, geez, it got sweaty in here. So 600 cuts using this new edge. Remember, I sh when I used the factory edge on it, I think it did about 400. So a real boost from refining that edge and putting a fine mirror-ish polish on it really got the Vanitas 4 Extra over the line. So fashion or function polished edge with this seems like it's function too. So that's cool. But yeah, the Guardian just clinches it by a little bit with its maybe a little extra bit of Rockwell, a little bit of extra in the steel. So maybe that bit of extra molly and silicon does the trick, who knows. Um, but anyway, both of these are great steels, really well done. Um, yeah, I really don't know the Rockwell or the Spydeco. I would guess probably 61 to 62. I think that'd be like the natural guideline for it. And this is 62 to 63, so maybe that's what it is. And then of course, there's a it's a random environment, so perhaps my um, perhaps I use slightly more edge in this one, less edge in this one. I try and be as close as I can, but hey. These are more just to show the capabilities of these steels in general rather than comparing them you know, utterly and making an absolute ruling. But scientifically speaking, I think it is quite clear which the best steel is. And it's Vanitas 4 because it's got a much cooler name. I mean, Vanitas 4 sounds like, the Vanitas 4 sounds like a bunch of like glam rock, like, like a glam rock rap crew from like 1980s who are like, who do like remix versions of Wham songs that are full of swearing. Like, that's the Vanitas 4 in my mind, so. Definitely the better steel and the much better choice, if you ask me, scientifically speaking. Alright guys, I'll catch you all in the next video. Thank you for watching. You can go and ice me old hands. That was a bit of a tough one. The compression lock, I tell you what, great lock, not so nice on the rope cutting. It's exactly where I end up putting the brunt of my, of my, uh, my hand. So, let's go and sort that out. Alright guys, thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.